morning. We might have a little visitor today because Amber's here and she keeps coming in to snoof. And she snoofed under my table and she snoofed my leg and I've now got dog slobber all over my <laughs> clean trousers. <laughs> Morning, babe. Your dog has just come up and slobbered all over my clean trousers. <laughs> she was snoofing. She's a little secret snoofer. So, we're going to do these today. I've been putting it off and putting it off because every time I've done it privately, they've gone fine. So you can guarantee when I'm doing it live, hello from the lounge downstairs. <laughs> so every time, so you can guarantee now I'm gonna do it live, it's gonna go all spectacularly wrong. So these ones are called encouraging. These ones are called inspiring. And I did my, I did a quick live yesterday with these ones that are inspiring. You get your 10 little anchor lashes. Each one of these lashes has 10 magnets on it. So rather than the normal um, lashes that are on the market at the moment, they usually, I think their average is about six. So if you have to trim them, you've still got eight magnets going on. So that's for both of them. So I'm gonna, so obviously I did, I was wearing those yesterday. Who's that? Oh, somebody's just arrived. Um, so I'm gonna wear it encouraging today. <laughs> and if you watch my live yesterday <coughs> you'll see that I have a spot of bother with the liner because I've never been one that's done a winged liquid oh, hold on let me just put my primer on while I'm whiffling on um I've never been very good with doing a winged eyeliner poor G and Jared oh right okay cool um I've never been very good at doing a liquid wing with the liquid eyeliner I get in all sorts of trouble. So I'm just putting my mattifying primer on where I'm sort of concentrating on the areas where my I have my crumples and my larger pores. God, being old sucks. <laughs> if I knew all this when I was younger, mind you, nothing would have been any, any different really. <laughs> So yeah, so I've put in my mattifying primer on, which is great to blur these little imperfections. Right, so that's gone on. So yes, anywho, the liquid eyeliner, not one of my friends, I've not been very good at it. And to my horror, that's exactly pretty much what this is. <laughs> Hello, Amber. <laughs> Jelly caller. <laughs> go on, off you go. Go find Jordan. Go find Jordan. <laughs> so cute. So anyway, yes. So the the magnetic liner is very similar to the liquid liner. So I looked at it and thought, ooh, But I came up with a solution. Well, actually, Beanie did when she was here. She said, why don't we just use a little brush? So I'm using a very thin little angled brush. And what I do is I just dab a line along rather than trying to get a perfect line that does that. Never ever gonna happen. So I literally use one of those. So we'll have a go with this and see what happens. <coughs> Righty ho. So this, the liner takes a good sort of five minutes to dry. So I'm going to crack on with the other bits in prep, doing a bit of prep. I'm going to put a bit of eye primer on. If you saw my live yesterday, you'll see that I used a bit of eye primer in the morning at about half past six, put my eyeshadow on pretty much straight away and it lasted all day. It's like little miracle stuff. And I've got, you can see, I've got really crumply, yucky eyes. And not once did the, not anywhere on my eyes did the eyeshadows and I used shimmers sit in the creases of my eyes it looked exactly the same as when i put it in that on and that goddamn early time in the morning yes your little baby she was snoofing me jelly just further interested in what's going on i'm just going to put a tiny little bit of 
where's my mirror concealer on my sunspots because we don't call things at this age where, where am I oh, I've got a tiny bit on there can't see in that mirror that's a magnifying mirror it's making everything look a bit weird I'm just gonna leave that to dry for a minute so is everybody having a good Saturday so far I'm going to barbecue later so when Jordan started working at Morrison's into pandemic um, back in must have been nearly a year now September October he was doing the night shift so he was doing nine in the eat no what was he doing Something like nine or ten at night until six, seven o'clock in the morning. He didn't really know anybody there. And this and this lovely couple, Dawn and Barry, took him under their wing. She's a Geordie, and obviously our grandma was a Geordie. Well, not obviously, you might not know. Our grandma was a Geordie. So he hit it off really well, and they really, really looked after him, showing him how to use the app to see what his wages were and book holiday and all this sort of stuff. So a year on, I finally get to meet them. She's been very lovely and invited us to a barbecue at theirs this afternoon. So I'm looking forward to meeting her. I've chatted to her online and stuff like that. But um, I'm looking forward to actually meeting her this afternoon. So we're popping over there, just me and Porgy. For a little BBQ. It actually looks weird. We've got, it. well, the weather here is, all I can see at the moment is white cloud and like a smidge of blue sky, but it is actually really quite warm out there. So I've put the concealer on and you can see it's covered up those horrible little malarkeys. So, right, I'm just gonna put a really um, quick eyeshadow on. I'm using, I'm not using liquid eyeshadows today because they're, they're quite bright and I just want something subtle. So I've got all those to choose from. So I think, I'm probably just going to use, I haven't got my glasses on either, so I'm not even going to be able to tell you. Hello, Amber. Hesitant. as like a base colour. And I've got... <laughs> yes, did you want some makeup on? And then probably a little bit of... I can't pick it up because of my nails. Fancy. In the corners. Just very, very lightly. So, yes, that's what I'm going to do. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just going to shut the door because you can just see Samuel's grotty bedroom. So yeah, I'm going to go in with this one as a base colour. No, this one. And just literally kind of use that as a transition colour, as they use in the biz. Transition colour. Just put that a bit all over. All over, mate. Why am I not looking in there? I'm kind of just doing it in my phone and I can't really see because I haven't got my glasses on. So, anyway, what's everyone else up to Saturday, today, this weekend? Anything nice? And literally, we've got... So, Ed and Richie have gone to Tom to watch football in the pub. Me and Ali are sat here. Well, obviously I'm doing this right now. She's sat downstairs, keeping control of the dog, not. Um, Samuel's got off to go and have a tattoo. Jordan is here with his friend. And then this afternoon we've got the barbecue and then we're all conglomerating back here at five o'clock to watch the first Liverpool match of the season. Norwich away. Sounds like it should be a good one. <laughs> we all say that, don't we? We all think it's going to be, it's like, not rich, away, Pfft, whatever. They've only just come up from the championship. They're the tricky ones. If anyone saw Brentford beat Arsenal yesterday, who saw that coming? But there you go, it happens. Can't be too cocky when you're one of the big guns. Can't afford to, can you, Jelly? So I'm just going to place a little bit of this one, which I can't remember the name of it already. Fancy, I think it was, on the corners. And then what I'll do afterwards, once I've put my eyeshadow on, I will then put my liner on. That's where the fun starts. <laughs> because trying to get a, uh, trying to get 
an even line when you can't put your specs on. Tricky. Right, so I'm just going to use my blending brush and blend that out a little bit. So I just want a, a subtle look today. I don't want anything too major. I think I might need a bit more. Hold on, sorry. I can't, I can't properly see. It's an unusual colour combination, Debbie. I don't know why. I don't know why I went for that one today. Just flicking it out a little bit to give myself a little bit of a, you know, lifty bit. It's all technical here, isn't it? <laughs> In case anyone's watching for the first time, I would like to state that I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> really, you say? I bet they have all these technical words for all these different ways of doing things and there's me. Flicky bits. I think that'll do. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the blue because I am an under under the eyelash, bottom eyelash kind of a thing. Always have been. Is anybody else? Jelly, do you put it under your bottom lashes? I've always done it. I can't see in that mirror, it's just too big. Excuse me, I can't pick a minute. Where's my little mirror? Not my baby. Oh, you do as well, yeah. I always have. I'm not very good at this really. <laughs> Blending brush is your friend. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Jelly, you'll tell me, does that look all right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to go too mad. Don't, don't really want to go too bad. Now I was going to use my liquid... Oh, no, let's just get on with this first because this takes ages to dry. Okay. I am going to use my magnifying mirror for this. Yes? <laughs> there's nothing going on here. There's no toys. There's no bacon. There's no sausages. No. Oi. <laughs> Oi, says Jelly. Okay, so I am going to use my magnifying mirror. So I'm literally... Did I put my mascara on first or after? Uh, oh God, I can't remember what I did last time. Um, I think I put the line on first and then do mascara. So, I'm literally gonna get my little brush. Put it on there. And you'll have to excuse me, but I do need a magnifying mirror for this one because I can't see. And I'm literally, I don't know if you can, if you can see, I'm literally going to dab a line along my lash line. I did do a little bit of a splodge yesterday try and not do a little splodge. Oh see, it happens when I blink. Right, I might need to do a tiny bit in the corner of my eye. Just get a, pick up a little bit more. This is going to last forever. It's all very well having a bigger one. So the the average size on the market. Um, I can't help it, I blink when I put something near my eye. The average size pot for liner is about five mil. 
and ours has got eight mil. So not only do you get, there we go, that's what I've done. It's kind of not too bad. Um, the average pot you get is about five mil and this has got eight mil. The average for decent quality lashes, obviously you get your Primani ones that are three or four quid and a couple of uses and you know, that's perfect. <coughs> I've done it many a time. In fact, I've got so many Primani lashes that I've used with the glue, tons of times. A couple of wears, bin them, you've only spent four quid. But these, you get up to 60 wears. If you look after them, you get up to 60 wears. So you are spending a little bit more on them because you are getting 60 wears and they're good quality ones. They're, made, they're vegan friendly. Who knew that was a thing? And the line is vegan friendly because we all have to be, you know, we have to cater for everybody. And this is a, you know, the vegan thing is growing massively. So when we do all our development research, research, we make sure that we are catering for everybody and we're on trend with everything. All right, so this is the tricky eye. Oh, I don't know how I did it last time. How did I do it? Oh, I can't get, <laughs> can't get me angle right. I'm literally doing exactly the same thing, just stamping, stamping it on. I wouldn't say this was easy, but it, I am getting, be getting better with practice. And it, I think it is, does take practice. Now, the other thing that a lot of other presenters are doing is using the 10 anchor lashes well. Let me tell you, that was a whole hoo-ha. That wasn't fun. Where's the other mirror? What does that look like? It's not too thick a line, and I think it's enough. Because we've got the 10 magnets on, you don't need a really thick line, because I think a lot of people are a bit frightened about the having a really thick line of black on their eyes. Have I done that evenly? But, see with a bit of practice, obviously the first time I did it, it was a bit horrendous. And I made splodges, my, <laughs> my eyelids so this bit of my eye stuck to that bit of my eye. My eyelashes were stuck everywhere. It was a bit of a disaster, but I think you just have to be really careful. And there we go. So I'm gonna leave that now. It's gonna take about five minutes so I can get on, get on with face. So there you go. It's not too bad, I don't think. Have I splodged it a bit? No. So I'm just gonna let that dry now. I'm quite chuffed with that, that's the best one I've done. So this is the third time I've done this. First time, well, it wasn't a disaster because the eyelashes stayed put all day. Um, so it wasn't a disaster in itself, but I did have a lot of splodges going on, which wasn't attractive, but hey ho, it is what it is. So with the, if people don't wanna use light, so the problem I've had when trying to, so what you do with the, anchor lashes these ones you've got 10 and each little one has three individual lashes and what I've been trying to do is use one hand because I need my mirror here to see what I'm doing because th that's too far away my dressing table mirror because <coughs> my dressing table mirror is probably another eight inches behind this phone um, so I was trying to lay the lash on top of my natural lashes then I was trying to get tweezers hold the lash in place while trying to anchor the lash the little anchor lash underneath I can tell you there was a bit of Tourette's going on. Oh yes, there was. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll do, oh no, I'll do my face first and I'll do my lashes. So yeah, I found that really, really tricky, but I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna get myself a mirror that's here, which I haven't got. Of all the flipping mirrors I've got around me at the moment, I haven't got one that I can just stand here so I can use both hands. So I, one hand can hold the lash down to my lash line and the other one can just put the little anchor lash up. That's what I blooming well need, but I'm gonna persevere with it because Although I'm, I'm quite good with the liner now, 
I like the idea of not having to do that and just anchoring them in place and they stay on all day as, as well as if you use the liner. Awesome, mind you, I do tend to end up, <laughs> I tried, what did I do yesterday? I ended up with I, so like four empty little anchor lash things and I was like, oh my God, where are they? They'd all clump together in one. They're such a strong magnet. So I'm gonna give them a go at some point. I'm gonna keep practicing and then I'm not doing it live because I do get angry. The side to Virgo that you don't want to see. So I am going to give them a go and practice next week once I've got my mirror. And then hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate them and how easy. I've seen other presenters do it and it's so flipping easy. They just go plop, they get their anchor lash and it literally snaps together. And then you just literally squeeze your lashes together and that's it all day. They stay in place all day. It's, it's flumping amazing, I tell you. So I am gonna get to grips with that because I think that is a really, really good option rather than using the liner. The liner comes off easy, I just use our um, I don't know what I'm looking over there for. Um, I'd use our cloth wipes and normal wipes with my micellar water or whatever will take the liner off fairly easy. Um, but I'd like the option to not have to use the liner. So I am going to practice. Okay, so say hi if you're watching. If you're watching on live, there's a live button up there. If you're watching on replay, please comment hashtag replay. Excuse me. Now, I was going to use our liquid eyeshadow, no, liquid foundation. So this is still, while stocks last, still on offer at £22.50. Um, if you're in my VIP group, it's on it's on an even better discount. Um, we're introduced, this is retiring now. They've, this, was one of, this was one of our first products we launched six, seven years ago. And they've decided to go with a, they've been researching and developing a new formula. And the new one they're bringing out in September has got a serum in it. So it's got masses of um, skincare ingredients in it as well. So I'm excited to try that one. I'll be getting one of those when um, when they launch in September. So I used this yesterday. Again, if you saw my live, it lasted. I think I put it on at about half six, quarter to seven. And I did my live about, what was it, seven o'clock? So 12 hours. Lashes, eyeshadow, foundation, lipstick even, was still in place after all that time. I'd eaten, I'd done everything normally. I hadn't been extra careful. It was all still in place. I think actually today I just want to use my BB cream. But I wanted to tell you about that because it is so lovely. It's, they call it liquid gold and it feels so beautiful when it goes on your skin. But I'm going to use BB today. Changing it up a bit. Why not? Oh, Sammy. Hello, baby. You all right? You had a bit of a long day yesterday, didn't you? I bet you're all blooming knackered today. Oh, I think I need a new BB cream. <laughs> So BB cream I'm using, so that's my winter colour and I've got that colour to add a little double. Again, another technical term used by us makeup artists. <laughs> oh, I wish. Anyway, so I've got little dobbles and I mix it together because I'm not either one or the other. I'm a bit of a mixture of both because I haven't really got a tan, but I'm definitely not as pale as I am in the winter. And because I've used my concealer on my sunspots, they just won't show up so much. So I'm literally going to get my kabuki. Ooh, that needs a bit of a clean. That's because I used it yesterday. I haven't washed it yet. I'm literally going to use my kabuki brush. Smooge it round a bit. And splodge on. All good, thank you. Yes, but we slept well, that's for sure. But yeah, I bet you did. It was a really, really long day for all of you, wasn't it? Poor old maths is working today, isn't it? Three o'clock. And then moving, moving day next week. I shall help wherever I can. I'm not going to be much use when it comes to lifting and but I can make tea and coffees and play with any babies that might be lying around. Any little Layla type lumps. I'd be good at that. Right, anyway. Let's get this face sorted out. So I'm, the, the BB cream isn't, it's just a medium coverage and literally for me it just kind of evens out my skin tone where I don't want, because it is quite warm out there, I don't really want a big thick heavy foundation. So I'm literally just... BB cream's perfect. Not when your hair gets in it, mind. 
and always remember to do under your neck and up to your ears. Drives me mad when I see people <laughs> that haven't blended and their foundation goes in a little whoo like that. Did you see it? Were you on earlier, um, Sammy, when Amber came in to say hello and do a bit of a live? It was like a bit, a little bit of a VIP visit. She did her appearance. She didn't want any makeup on though. She said it was too hot. So there we go. What do we think? Nice, light. I think it's really perfect for the summer. Just evens out. Skin turn. Evens out skin turn, don't you know? Oh, it do. Oh. Right, that line I can go back in there. We do also, so when we launched the lashes in the, on the 1st of August, we um, launched the two sets of, or the two styles of lashes, the lip, the lip liner. Oh. Um, the liquid liner, magnetic liquid liner. And we also launched the uh, little magnetic tool to apply the lashes with. Now they are the only, I'm sure it's lovely, but I'm not gonna really boast too much about that because it's stainless steel. So whenever you pick anything up, half the magnets stick to it. And then what I found was when I was using my own stainless steel magnets, I put my lash on there. And when I went to go and put an anchor on everything and I ended up with the, <laughs> ended up with the applicator, the lashes and the anchor lashes all in a clump on the end. So I'm thinking, I don't think stainless steel applicator for magnetic lashes is the ideal combination. It's not the ideal combo. So I'm going to order myself, yes, little snoof snoofs. I'm going to order myself a plastic one because I think that's the way to go. So by all means, it's a lovely applicator and um, a really good quality applicator. And if you were using glue, it'd be ideal. But I don't think it's the perfect thing for magnetic lashes, in my opinion. So I'm just saying, because I wouldn't want to, I, I wouldn't want to promote something that I wasn't 100% comfortable with, and I'm, I'm not with that. So I won't be ordering one. So I'm just going to put a little bit of bronzer, just to, so when you put a foundation on, all over your face, it'll flatten your, fe your features, because it's all one colour. So what you need to do is add a little bit of colour for texture and for depth. No one wants a flat face. Like Sophie Ellis Bexter. She's got a very moony flat face, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, a bit of bronzer. And I'm also, I've got a random brush. I don't even know where I got this from. I'm just gonna do under there a bit. So normally, when you do contouring, which I wouldn't ever, <laughs> I wouldn't ever officially say this is contouring. This is me just kind of plopping it places. You would do a three. You would do there, there, and under there. <laughs> You're laughing at me, Emma. I can't think why. <laughs> um, but I don't obviously need to do the top of the three because I have a fringe, and this is why I don't ever do my eyebrows either. So I tend to just do that. And I just go under there because, you know, when you get older, things sag and droop in places that you didn't know they could. So I just do a tiny little bit and all it does is just creates the illusion of a shadow. Like you actually still have a jawline. Yes. So, anywho, I'm just going to stick a little bit of highlighter and a little bit of, a little bit of blusher. So we've got our highlighters. This is our highlighter brush. I used to, I'll, I'll be honest with you, when I used to go around makeup shops years ago, I'd look about the different types of brushes and think, who needs that many brushes? I probably had two. And those wouldn't even have a clue. Highlighter brush. So you just literally swoosh over the top. And if you are a lady of what is a certain age, a top tip from actual makeup artists, so I'm just copying them, if you're a little bit older, you don't go past that line. So if you put imaginary lines there, so you want to create the illusion of a facelift, basically. So you put all your colour that way and angle it that way. Apparently. I'm just passing on a message. 
so a little bit of highlighter there. I'm going to put a little bit that nose and a little bit on Cupid's bow. See? Shimmer. Anyway, that's that. Come on, peeps, tell me what you're up to this weekend. I've told you mine. A little bit of blusher in between the highlighter and the bronzer. And by using the three products, you're creating contouring. And your contour, you see the side of my face, you can see it actually looks. Cuddling doggies, oh my God, you lucky thing. What doggies? Lots of doggies, are they your doggies? Or you just randomly walked somewhere and found some? <laughs> Is that your job? Oh my God, Jelly, you'd love that, wouldn't you? So there we go, so I've plopped all that gubbins on. I think that's quite nice. Quite nice if you don't say so myself. Both your doggies. Oh, what have you got, Emma? Have you just seen um, my niece, my dog, my doggy niece, Amber, who was making a guest appearance a minute ago? She's a rescue dog, um, and she's a cross, stuffy cross with something. We're not quite sure what, but she was used as a bait dog when she was a puppy, so she's got lots of scars. All she's about eighteen months maybe 20 months old now she's an absolute sweetheart she's so, when my sister packs her bag to come to our house for the day she gets so excited so so excited but she's absolutely adorable how anyone could have done that to her is i can't even begin to talk about because it just upsets me but um yes oh let's just do my spray but yeah she made an appearance and she'll probably make appearance again in a minute so you can say hello Right, I'm just going to use my setting spray. So once you're all your Ziggy, my eight-year-old Whippet. Oh my God, I love them. Since a puppy and Saluki or Whippet. Oh, cross Whippet. Rescue of her since Saturday. Adopt, don't shop. Do you know what? Exactly. Oh, she on Emma, she is absolutely adorable. I mean, she looks... I wouldn't like to get on the wrong side of her because if she sees it, she's very dog reactive, obviously because of her history and her start in life. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. But you can literally, if she's got something in her mouth, you can grab her slobby jaws and go with her. And she just looks at you. She's just an absolute darling. I love whippets. We used to go down to Costa in Totten, me and Ali, and sit outside and have a Costa. And there was always a lady with a whippet. Was it a whippet or was it greyhound? What was it, Ali? Was it a whippet or a greyhound? And they, their eyes and their face are just beautiful. They're just lovely, lovely dogs. Oh, I totally agree, adopt, don't shop. Although my husband's a bit, well, you don't know what's happened to him before you've had them. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, right, so I'm just... Yes, here she is, Emma. Come say hello. Come say hello. There she is. Can you see her? She's such a good girl. You can't slobber, I've just put makeup on. You did a good girl. Yeah. Isn't she lovely? She's so, oh, you've just licked my BB cream. Yes, well, you can't do much now, darling. Off you go. Go find that little toy you've already mangled. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else knows about Staffies and obviously various other puppy type dogs. Oh, she's honestly, she's adorable. But she, <laughs> Ali buys her a toy and gives it to her every weekend and they have to be ro really robust. It's mutilated. It's mutilated in minutes. She has to get... The squeaker out that lasts about two seconds once that's out half its body contents come out <laughs> there's like clumps of in innards all around the house where she's <laughs> she's got hold of it she's had one today the squeaker's out innards are out i've left all because it's all um pet friendly innards i've left it out for the birdies and the squirrels for their little nests and things <laughs> anywho right enough about that so all i'm going to do is just put and i do recommend you do this whether or not I could do this with it when I try the anchors, I don't know. But I am going to put a little bit of twisted mascara. So many repaired toys and broken squeakers <laughs> every week. Honestly, carnage, absolute carnage. Makes me laugh because me and my sister have always been people who have cuddlies. I mean, that's one from when I was about, I just give him a wash because he was found in the loft. That's one I've had since I was about 16 long time I've got cuddlies everywhere she's got cuddlies everywhere and it makes me laugh that she has to deal with carcasses of cuddlies <laughs> on a week on a daily basis 
how she does it, I don't know. She, I bought Amber a dog. I bought her the, what cat was it, Ali, I bought her? A something cat, a specific cat thing. And she wouldn't give it to her because she knew it would get chewed up and eaten. <laughs> so she's now got that. So funny though. So, so funny. Right, anyway, so I would always recommend that you put a layer of mascara. You still have your care bear. Oh, I still have my tiny tears. I know that's not cuddly. But it was my favouritest thing when I favouritest thing when I was young. She looks a bit worse for wear now. My mum, who's oh god, I was going to say sixty four. She's not. My mum's going to be seventy four this year, and she still has her china doll, Belinda. It's amazing, isn't it, that you get attached to these things. grumpy cat. That's it. I didn't know it was an actual thing. I just bought it because I thought it was funny. But Ali wouldn't let her have Grumpy Cat because she knew Grumpy Cat would get mauled. <laughs> I know. I've still got, a, well, I did have a lot of cuddlies from when I was younger. I had a little dog called Smudge, a little orange beanie dog called Smudge. And his girlfriend, Cuddles, the belt with the brown bear. So yes, I would always recommend that you put a layer of mascara on. Right, so this, this is the easy bit, putting them on, because they just clip on. So I'm going to use encouraging. So these, so you've got these ones that I had on yesterday. I've got like a cat eye. Can you see the, the fact that the inner corners are a lot shorter and then they tend to sort of fan out and the length is um, wider at the side. So it gives you like a cat eye look straight away. Every time I put mascara on, it goes everywhere. And it's, oh, it's just gone back to the beginning. Of do you know what the best thing to do? If you get, um, Emma, if you get mascara on your eyeshadow and stuff, use a, um, whatever one of these is called. And if you just rub it on, it just comes off. So you don't end up losing half, your, half of your eyeshadow. It's a really, a little spoolie. I think it's called a spoolie. I've got tons. If you want some, I've got a whole bunch of little ones. I'll send you some. But they're perfect, you literally just rub that and you don't rub the eyeshadow off, you just rub the mascara off. Amazing, and also another trick is do your mascara looking down. And if you do your mascara looking down, you're not actually likely to get it on your, the tops of your eyes. <laughs> That's all right, my darling. Right, okay, let's get on with these. So they're the cat eye ones that I wore yesterday. So they're inspiring. <coughs> these are encouraging, so they're more of an open eye look. And I do like them because they're not thick so for someone of what is a certain age you don't like I, when I was younger I wanted the big fan I'm gonna waft you and your hair's gonna move kind of lashes I don't I don't I don't need that anymore but I do just like a nice extra bit to my lashes so always put them on so hold them facing that way so that you put that on that eye and that on that eye 21 what did I say You can tell me in a minute, Emma. So, anyway, let's get on with this. It's all faffing about, Debbie. So, you literally, and I am going to get a plastic thing, but they're just as easy to apply with your fingers, if I'm honest. Oh, your age. <laughs> I bloody wish. <laughs> and literally, so that is more or less dry now. I've left it a good long time. And all you do is plonk it on and just press it in. And it sticks. There you go. Love that bit. I could do that bit really easy. And then what I would suggest, if you have your, if you had an applicator, that you would just secure them on. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. It's on. What do we think? They are so lovely, so easy. Let's get on with the other. Let's get on with the other one. I'm so excited that I've done that and it's worked <laughs> while I'm with you lot. <laughs> but that'll stay on all day now. That'll stay on until I go to bed. So, and all I've done to clean these is literally, so you can use, people, are, other presenters are using like micellar water to clean the actual lash. 
so pretty they are pretty aren't they but not not too over the top for someone of my age i don't think just just make just enhances the lashes that i've already got what was i saying oh yeah micellar water to clean the actual natural the na the actual lashes because they're made of a, a vegan friendly silk fiber so i've just used my wipes to clean those off and then you're supposed to use something that's got like a 20 percent alcohol base to it to clean the magnets i've been using my lash no i haven't i've been using my brush cleaner because that's got alcohol in it but yeah you just have to be very careful just just clean the little 10 magnets that's all so anyway stop faffing around Debbie, and get on with the other one Just getting that it doesn't help that I need to do get my nails done and they're really long at the moment. So again, I'm literally that's it. Just gonna plonk, just tap it down, just literally, just secure it in place. Oh, that one's not quite done. Hang on. Okay. And there we go. Just really nice. You don't feel like you've got anything on at all because they're just so light. Oh man, I'm sweating now because I've done that right. <laughs> I've been panicking. I've been having a little panic. So there you go. What does everyone think? I keep thinking I I didn't put it on right because it went on so easy, but I think it actually did. And now I'm just going to put some Mazzy on bottom lashes, a bit of lippy on, and then you can all go about your Saturdays knowing full well that everything worked and I didn't have a heart failure or something going wrong. A bit, bit more twisted going on underneath. I don't know what lippy to wear today actually. Oh, going on, I've just splotched that under my eye. I knew it wouldn't go. Um, I do need to go out. out. I'm going barbecuing and watching football. That's not really classes out, out is it, really? <laughs> Emma, I don't care if I don't go out, out. I'm just glad it didn't go all horribly wrong. There, I am sweating rather a lot, though. So, hmm, I don't know what lippy to wear. So chuffed with those. Also, your eyes are such a pretty what my actual eyes do you know what emma my eyes depending on what makeup i wear they can either look blue green or gray it just depends if i wear peaches they look a sort of greeny color but they, they, i i do think so these ones were really kind of sultry and sexy Ooh, uh, these ones just excuse me these ones just help open my eye because i do have quite hooded eyes and i think they do a really good job of Anyway, so I'm going to use, what am I going to use? Not moneyed. I'm going to use a bit of, not that either. I'm just going to use Easy Street, I think. Snark I don't think I've got snarky jelly. And if I did have, I can't read the bottom one because the writing's so small, I wouldn't know what I was putting on anyway. Definitely not red. I can't be doing with red. No, oh, no, there's another red. So I, you, can, you can see the theme. I have very hooded eyes. I should have almost seen pointless for me. Do you know what? Mine's the same. This one's worse, Emma, and it just, it just, you can see that that one is worse than that one. That's just slightly more lifted than that one. So it's just about technique and practice. I've been practicing for about a year now. <laughs> Get in there slowly. I'll have a look at it because I want to try it. Oh, what's snarky? Well, I've got these ones. Is that snarky? 
No, I don't know. I don't know what they are. I'm not putting a splash lippy on today anyway. I'm going to use one of our matte lippies and I'm using Easy Street because I know this will last all day. So it's this colour. Ooh, that makes it look really dark. It's not, there we go. That's what colour. I, it's rubbish, isn't it? I, if ever I want any money, the first thing I do is have my hoods and my eyes done. Because it drives me mad and I watch all these lovely people with their lovely, te you know, lovely eyeshadows and things and mine just, I can't do it because of my eyes. But I have got better. I also have them little sticky strips to give an eyelid. No, I've tried those. I can't, the trouble is, I can't put them on where I need to put them on because I haven't got my can't put my glasses on to put them on, so they go all over the place. I've tried those. <laughs> I've tried those as well. There, that'll do. That'll last all day. That matte lippy. Okay, <laughs> those sticky strip things. I told my sister I was getting them, and she was like, "Oh right, let me know what they look like, how they work." They didn't work for me because I watched a presenter, one of our elite presenters used them and she did, she, they looked lovely on her. And um, yeah, not so much on me because I just stuck them in all the wrong places and made my eyes look even flipping worse. So, have I forgotten anything? I can't, I, oh no, I'll do a bit of white eyeliner quickly. Because, so I'll do one eye first because the white eyeliner really does help open up your eyes even more. See the difference between that one and that one? I'm going for the. I'm going to make sure I look awake today. Emma, you want to try one of these um, matte lippies? They last all day. And the splash lippy that I used, these splash lippies, they're also matte. They are matte. And if you prefer not a matte, then they're not the ones for you. But the, um, if you watch my live from last night, I've wore, I'd worn, I put that on at about half seven in the morning. Eaten orange drizzle cake custard, to marmite on toast and everything and it was still it wasn't as full but it was still on at um seven o'clock in the evening oh i need to do this eye so there i actually do look like i'm awake we've got that color which is a nice color it's a bit darker than this one that i've put on this one that i've put on that one it's actually a bit lighter than it looks. We've got a brown one, we've got a bright red one. Never going to have that one. Brown one's nice, but they last all day. <coughs> so anyway, my lovelies, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want any information about the lashes or the liner or anything at all about the liquid foundation that's still on offer, if you're in my VIP group, it's on at even less than £22.50. It's while stocks last, obviously because we're launching a new one and this is retiring. But it's a perfect introduction um, to the new one that's coming should you when you know when you want to top up etc but yeah so please message me um, I hope you all have a fabulous weekend have a good Saturday um, and thank you very much for watching I really appreciate oh ooh, any sh any s um, spreading would be really appreciated S -H -A. I'm allowed to say that word on Facebook world but anybody who would like to spread the love would be much appreciated and I'd love you forever anyway enough of me driveling on enjoy your Saturday have a great weekend and I'll speak to you soon toodles